besides lightsaber heroes, fuzzy underwear villains, and army men, there was something else kids loved to play with in the 80s, and that was amputees on a boat. Let's look at some pirate action figures. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody, or should I say, welcome back, mateys, to the high seas. I know, that's a horrible, horrible pirate impression. In fact, I was going to wear a patch and everything, but then I was like, oh, I have to get up and go to the store. So I said, no, nah, we'll just do this video without doing that. But today, we're going to look at pirate action figures. Most of these are from the 80s, but there's a few early 90s also. And there's only seven. I want to do ten. I like to do ten when I talk these toys, but... I only could find a good seven of them that was worth talking about. And I could have went into the Pirates of the Caribbean movie and stuff. But I didn't want to do that. We want to look at some maybe some action figures you may have had as a kid or may have forgotten about. But kids love pirate action figures. Arr, they love the letter R too. I don't know why pirates love the letter R. Arr, and they also love to put another shrimp on the Barbie. I don't know why they always want to put shrimp cocktails on Barbie dolls. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. But anyway, kids like... Pirates, you know, kids like cowboys and Indians, pirates, dinosaurs, space aliens, and other things also. But that's like the generic what boys like. Some girls like pirates too, although I've never seen a girl that likes pirates, but I'm sure they might. So let's take a look at some pirate action figures. And we'll start with this generic line just called Pirates. I know, how did they come up with that name? You think they sat around the board meeting and said, okay, we got these goofy looking pirate action figures. What are we going to call them? <sighs> let's call them... Uh, Power, boat pirates? No, 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 no. That's that's going to upset somebody because it doesn't come with boats. Uh, what can we call it? How about pirates? There we go. Pirates right there. But they're really weird looking. They look like some kind of cartoon from the year 2000. Check this out. Here's one that has a twisting head and waist. Twist at the waist and the arms and legs move. But he's really weird looking. And here's another pirate from that same line wearing a shirt with stripes on it and comes with this big I don't know what that is. Maybe Something it's a Kaiser blade. blade. What's that? I was just saying a Kaiser blade. It's also known as a sling blade. That's right, Larry. Some people call it a sling blade. Maybe that's what he comes with. Or how about this one here? It looks like this guy had just saw something terrible happen to the bounty on the power boat. Look at him. He's like, Ugh! the wind's all blowing in his hair. I don't know what he saw, but it couldn't be good. But he does have a peg leg. It's always good to have an action figure with a peg leg, but... You think this figure stands up? I really doubt that. And then you have this guy here. It looks really looks like he's really from a cartoon line, without a doubt. And this guy here looks kind of like the guy we saw before. Let's go back and look at the other guy we saw before. I think that's the same figure, just painted different. How cheap can you get? But believe it or not, that wasn't the only generic line of action figures called Pirates. Yep, check this out. This one is also called Pirates. And this one's wearing a hat like Whippy Goldberg wears as Guinan on Star Trek The Next Generation. Maybe that's where they got it from. Maybe some kid played with this and took that hat to make Guinan with. And it also has a peg leg. Again, I hope it comes with an action figure stand or this thing's never standing up. And check out this guy right here. This is probably the, this is the low man on the deck on the, on the ship. He's the one that probably has to scrub the deck with a, with a big old brush thing and everything. He has to really clean the boat, but that's him right there. And he also has a peg leg. What is going on with this boat? Everyone on this boat. I got it. This is something you may not know. You know why powers mostly have one leg missing? That's so they can get the good parking spot when they dock their boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, here's another one here. And man, now this guy is the low. I thought the other one was, you know, he was cleaning the poop deck as they call it. This guy here is cleaning the toilets in the bottom of the of the boat. Look at this guy here. And then we got a real fashionable wearing a vest, a pink vest. You know he's going to get hung on that boat pretty darn soon. But there's a line of action figures, another line called Pirates. One thing about Pirates, they love to be on boats in the ocean. Or as they call it, the sea. So let's look at some action figure lines that use the word sea in the title. And here we go, Pirates of the Evil Seas. Look at these figures right here. These are some generic looking figures, but they were released by Rimco in the early 90s. And you have this one right here. It looks like the hat just barely fits his head. I hope it stays on really good. Let's take a look at some of them out of the package. And you can see they have a really silly looking face. Look at this. That weird mustache makes him look like he's smiling. And then you have this one here that looks almost like the same figure. But just an old beard right there. It's kind of got like a Commander Riker look. And that's the second Star Wars Next Generation. And that's the second Star Trek Next Generation reference I've used in this video. Let's see if we can get another one. 
Now, we're not done with Remco just yet, because in the early 80s, they had their own pirate line that kind of looked like He-Man figures. Pirates of the Galactic Seas. I guess they wanted to put the word galaxy in there to kind of get those Star Wars science fiction kids in their early 80s. Uh, but these are pirate figures, and look at this guy. His name is Patch, and he has a patch on his eye. But there was more than just pirates in this line. Check this out. A red skeleton. I said red skeleton. Not red skeleton. I'm the only YouTuber that's going to bring up a reference to Red Skeleton. Man, I am getting old. Let's look at one more from this line here. And you got this guy wearing some damn panties on his head. Well, I guess they're not panties. They're men underwear. And I know they're men underwear because I have this exact same pair. If you don't believe me, I'll put them on my head in the next video and wear it. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not because... Believe me, just, just, I'm not going to tell you why I'm not going to do it. Let's just say I hadn't been to the laundromat in a couple of weeks. But there's more pirates that were on the seas. Let's look at pirates on the high seas. Here we go. Pirates of the high seas. Arr. Okay, it's not called pirates of the high seas. Arr. I, I, I just kind of did that to a dramatic effect. But they're called pirates of the high seas by Imperial. These are some nice looking power figures. I give them that here. And as you can see this guy here is Captain Hook. That's right. They have some name brand figures in here. Like this one here. Mad Dog Morgan. And you thought Mad Dog Morgan was only in Back to the Future 3. Nope. He was also a pirate. Check that out. And what about Captain Kidd? He's not a kid anymore, but he is a captain. He's Captain Kidd. And he has both of his legs. How about that? He has both of his legs and both of his feet. So he doesn't save money on boots like most pirates. And usually these power figures have the word C at the end. This one has C at the beginning, and it's based on a theme park. You remember SeaWorld? Well, I guess it's still around. Oh, I said, do you remember? SeaWorld had their own action figure line of pirates. Let's take a look. As I told you, SeaWorld Pirates. Man, these are some generic, cheap-looking figures if I've ever seen them. Look at this god-awful one right here. Although, he is wearing a nice little robe jacket there. But look at them shorts he's wearing. Showing off those sexy pirate legs. Arr! And this one looks like he's wearing some tennis shoes. But I'm sure he's not. But I like the hat. Reminds me of Judge Ronald from Fast Times at Ridge High. Hey, you can make a custom figure of that right there. And let's take a look at one more. I know I said seven, but I deleted one of them because it just didn't really fit in. I didn't want to show it. So let's look at one more. And this is just one figure from the pirate line. And it's Goofy, dressed like a pirate. You know Goofy from Disney. Well, here he is as a pirate. That's right. A dog dressed as a pirate. I've seen it all now. But there it is. From the Zooland land. From the Zooland action figure line. Well, believe it or not, that's all the power figures we're going to look at today. There was a lot of them out there, wasn't they? And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this video didn't turn out like I thought. thought this was going to be more fun looking at these power figures. And I was sitting here making this video. I was like, this is not going the way I hope. But uh, we'll throw it up there. Maybe you'll like to look at it. Maybe, maybe I just... Hey, I do two videos a day. They all can't be winners. So I apologize for this video right now. But hey, maybe you're a big power fan and you'll get a kick out of this. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments how this video sucked. And until the next video, thumb up and like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.